So in the previous video, I talked about when you're creating a chat GPT prompt as a local government leader, you have to include personal information to give it a little bit of a background that who you are, so how chat GPT designs your responses. And, and also on the task and action or output section that how do you want the tone to be, the format to be, things like that. So if you're creating a lot of, you know, using chat GPT a lot and creating like a lot of those prompts all day, Adding that information in every single prompt can get a little bit taxing. So ChatGPT has a really great feature, which is called Customize ChatGPT, where you can enter that information previously as part of the settings, so you do not have to include it in every single prompt that you create. It's still helpful, but it, it's, it's great. So under this, you have two sections there. It says, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? And the second one is, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? So this section talks about you know who you are, where are you based, what do you do for work, your hobbies, interests, things like that. So this gives you chat GPT enough information about yourself to so understand who your persona is. Right. The second one tells you how you want it to respond, like casual, formal response, how long or short sentences or responses should be, how would you like to be addressed, things like that. So I've created this cheat sheet where you can actually copy and paste and use it for yourself. So for the first section, it's good to include information about your demographics, your job details, and miscellaneous. So demographics, your age, gender, location, education, marital status, routine, and so on. Job description, your title, current projects you're working on, challenges, goals, personal and professional, and data-driven. So this is a good piece of information to have that you can actually include in this first section here. Uh, and I'm going to go into one live example in just a second. The second one is how would you like ChatGPT to respond? So this is where you can talk about bias. So especially if you are a local government leader, you know, let's say a city for Scottsdale, you have so many, your residents are actually from different ethnicity. They're, they come in in different phases of life. They're different age groups. So you want to make sure that you're not biased. So you want to let ChatGPT know to give you unbiased responses. You know, what kind of tone do you have? What kind of suggestions do you want from that response format? So this is a great way to include information. And these are just kind of bullet points so you know to go through those. So let's take a look at, for, for example, so if you're a city manager or a deputy city manager, what can you include in those sections? So the first one, you can include demographics and job details. So demographics, I'm a 42-year-old married male living in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I have a master's degree in public affairs. You know, your age, your gender, marital status, location where you are, education background. And what are your interests? I'm particularly interested in urban planning, community engagement, sustainability, and integration of technology in public affairs, right? It's pre pretty basic stuff. I added this information about routine because this is good to have, especially if you're using chat GPD to create your you know, weekly to-do list, you have to create your calendar, things like that. Like I personally always do time blocking. So I'll block three hours of my time within my work time to where I can do focus work. And I don't want any meetings to be scheduled during those times. So if you have any specific requirements from your routines or other things from your day to day that you can actually, you, that you want chat GPD to consider, you can actually add those. And they are not limited routines, could be anything that you like. Then the job details, you know, a little overview of your job. I am the city manager for city of Scottsdale, overseeing various departments, including economic development, product safety, public works, community services, and so on. Projects challenges, I'm currently focused on improving resident satisfaction, increasing transparency between city officials and residents, and implementing smart city initiatives to enhance the quality of life for residents. Like these are your projects. What are your values? I value transparency, accountability, and community-driven decision-making your current goals, personal. So this could be your immediate goal, for example, that my immediate goal is to raise resident satisfaction score from you know 35 to 75 for the next 12 months. Long-term goal is I aim to position Scottsdale as a leading smart city and enhance overall community developing, right? So you can add it the way you see fit, your data-driven communication, things like that. So this ends up being a good information for what would you like ChatGPT to know about, to customize ChatGPT for you. Now, the next section, what we saw is this one. How would you like Chad GPT to respond? So this is where we talked about different things, right? So we have bias, tone, resources. So bias, avoid favoring one strategy, technology, or ethnicity, and provide a balanced perspective on various approaches. 
tone, maintain a professional tone that is friendly and engaging, right? So you can add things as you see fit based on your particular requirements. And you don't have to add every single thing, but more the better, right? Like the more information Chad GPT knows about, the more results are going to be very customized to you and will be more quality results that you can actually use. You know, I really like this problem solving approach as well. Adopt a strategic problem solving approach, considering both short-term impacts and long-term benefits. Especially if you are a city leader, this is a great way for you that, hey, if I'm asking you for some suggestions, keep this in mind when you give me those suggestions. And, and these are the ones that you can add. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy and paste in, in, in these sections here. But before we do that, so right now, since I don't have any customization, like this one, there, there's no customization. I just made a different copyright. So let me do a one test run of how the result will look when there's no customization. So let's say if I give it a prompt of, I am working on an initiative, safe neighborhoods. Please create me a list of goals that I should accomplish under this initiative, right? Pretty basic, pretty simple prompt, right? So I'm gonna copy this because I wanna use this exact same one once we have the customization enabled. So let's say I click here and see what kind of result do I get. So say it's safe neighborhood initiative goals, enhanced policy and patrols, improved street lighting, safe public spaces, right? So pretty basic implementation traffic increase, right? So it gives me pretty basic ones that I can use, right? So this is pretty good, right? This is really good. So now let's take a look once I customize chat GPT for what I need, right? How can this, this get more customized for me? So let's copy this. So this is the first section. For demographics, I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna customize it. So how do you find customization? You go on your image, customize chat GPT, and this is where it is. So this is a little bit of information about me, the job details. I'm just gonna copy this section here as well. Control C and paste it here, right? So this so this gives you chat GPT gives you about 1500 words you can use. So we'll still have some more space. So if you want to add more information, you're actually fine. Let's do section number two, which is about how would you like ChatGPT to respond? So I'm just going to copy all of this. If you control C, and this is where information how I want ChatGPT to respond, right? And I'm also enabling it, enable it for new chats. So any new chats that I do or any conversations or things I ask ChatGPT, I want it to consider this, right? So I click on save, right? So now I save. So let me take my, my initial um, prompt that I shared. Let me copy this exact same prompt so we can see how different it is. Exact same prompt. You can come back here. You can take a look that this is enabled, right? So this is enabled for it. So I click here. So let's see what kind of response do I get now. Right. So it says safe neighborhoods initiative goals, improve neighborhood safety and security, enhance police presence, community policing, emergency response. If you go to the one we got before, it's pretty basic results, like doesn't give you that much of, of detail, right? So it has enhanced policing, community patrols, increased frequency in neighborhoods. It's very basic structure laid out. But if you come over here, it gives you a little bit more details on, on how you can actually accomplish and do this. And then not just about goals. So here, what you saw was it just gave information about different goals, like, and they're here, they give you like eight, nine different goals that you can actually do, 10 different goals you can actually do with basic information under each goals. But when you come, you have very, specified your customization enabled, it gives you goals, a little bit more detail on how the goals, but then it also gives you actionable steps and recommendations. You know, collaborate with police departments, work closely with them. So it has different recommendations that you can actually use. So you can already see that the result by using customization is already a lot better. And the thing is, this is very, very basic um, prompt that you have. So if you ask even better prompt on, if I do exact same thing and say, you know, show, goals in smart format, right? So now this is gonna be even better than what you had before. So as you can see, it took each one of these goals here that we have asked it before, improve neighborhood safety security, 
And now it's putting into the smart goal format and you can see increased police presence, specific, measurable, achievable, right? So this ends up being a lot better way. So you don't have to do one benefit is you don't have to write a long chat GPT prompt, like simple prompt like this gives you better results. It already knows how you want the output to be. It already knows who you are. So it saves you a lot of time. As you can see here, the specific responses, smart goals in each one of them, and gives you summary of goals, like increased police patrols, 20% green six months, smart street lighting, 50% coverage in 12 months. Very, very specific summary of each one of those goals. So as you can see, by customizing your chat GPT, you can get far better and more catered and quality results versus the other ones. So, and I will also share the link to this document that you can just kind of copy and paste and, and use it for uh, for future. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, please do drop them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer. So thank you very much. Have a great day.